Alright, welcome to part two of my software testing methodology training. Uh, again, this is brought to you by QA Training Experts. You can contact us at www.qatrainingexperts.com or by emailing us at contact us at qatrainingexperts.com. So we specialize in helping train and place people in QA. And those people, uh, most of our students are people very new to QA. Uh, this is part two, the software development life cycle. So we'll be talking about how testing fits into the software development life cycle and talking about the entire software development life cycle. All right, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about how software testing is done and I'm also going to teach you about the software development life cycle. So in our last class we talked about basic concepts, right? What is software testing? Why is it important? Uh, why can we not do complete testing? The cost of doing testing versus not doing it at all. The goal of this lesson is to give you first, before we get into the software development life cycle, is to give to help you picture from a very high level the process of testing. And then in the next part of this training we're going to talk about the software development life cycle. I'm going to walk you through and teach you how software and what's what phases software goes through to be developed. We're going to start from the very first stage all the way to when it goes out the door. And again, my goal of this methodology training is to give you and educate you with how is testing done, why is it done, when is it done, and then we're going to get into actual hands-on. So, you know, a lot of this will probably make a lot more sense when we're actually in there doing it. And then one of my strategies is to go back to methodology to reinforce what we're learning now with you once you've had the hands-on experience. All right. Let's jump right in. Uh, how is software testing done? Requirements are defined by the business and then translated into technical requirements. In our last lesson, I talked to you a little bit about requirements. We talked about how requirements are the needs and expectations of the business. We talked about how requirements are how are so important to a tester. Requirements to a tester are it, requirements tell us what we need to test, what we need to check to make sure the product is working according to the business. And in the very beginning of software development and the very beginning of the testing process is the business sits down and they have to sit and think about all the things they need that software to do for them. That becomes the business requirements. Those business requirements then get handed off to the technical team. You know, it's like the business saying, hey, I need a program to do, you know, check my email, send my email, etc. And then it goes to the technical team who has to eventually build it. They take a look at those requirements and go, okay, you know, how am I going to they the technical team has to think about it and think of how are they going to solve those business needs and expectations through software and hardware. All right, so the very first thing we have is what the business needs. Those are our business requirements. Those get handed off to the technical team. And then what comes out of the technical team is they document how they think they're going to solve those business requirements with technical requirements. Okay? And to give you an example, let's talk about I'm going to use the new Yahoo registration web page. You know, when you go out or where you go out to register for a free Yahoo email. On this page, and I have it up right here, uh, right over here we see some fields that 
a new Yahoo registration or a new Yahoo user would fill out about who they are. You know, their first name, their last name, their gender, their birth date, the country, the post postal code. All right. Let's try to think or imagine what the business requirement was around this. And more than likely was the business wanting to capture personal information of the employee or of the of the new user. It could have been that high level. Just state again stating uh, we want to capture the personal information about an employee including they could have been even put some more details in there including their name their their birth their gender their birth date country code postal code that would be my business requirement and then the technical team would have looked at that I'm trying to give you a picture the technically technical team would have looked at that and their job is to basically kind of answer that requirement with a technical requirement. They have to think of, all right, how are we going to solve this through technology? The technical requirement probably or could have looked like uh, we're going to capture the name, first name, last name, uh, the gender will be captured as male, female, the birth date, we will capture it using three fields, month, a field for day, a field for year, and we will also capture and let the, the new user select from the drop down of the country, and we will have, you know, so many countries available, and then we will also have a field, we will create a field to capture the postal code. It's kind of like technical notes of how they think they're going to meet that business requirement through technology. All right, we haven't got, they haven't fully designed anything yet. They're just putting requirements on a piece of paper. So the business comes first with the business requirements. The technical team comes back and basically answers those technical, or excuse me, answers those business requirements with technical requirements. Once that's done, and I'm kind of getting ahead of myself a little bit, once that's done, then the design will be done. Then they, you know, once they have exactly what the business wants, how they're going to, if the business is happy with how they're going to solve it through technology, then it goes off and the system or software will get designed not built yet designed okay stepping back this is all going to make a lot more sense um, once we go through all of the slides of this lesson all right so coming out of here we're going to have two things we're going to have business requirements and we'll have technical requirements as well. When we get to hands-on, I'll be showing you and you'll be working with requirements and, and you'll see tons of examples of business and technical requirements. Maybe not tons. I'll show you some very good, good examples of requirements. Actual requirements that would have been used on a project. All right, next one. The product is designed and the technical team, uh, excuse me, the product is designed and developed by the technical team. So again, once we have coming out of this, we have business and technical requirements. We know what the business wants. We have an idea of how we're going to solve it through technology. Now it's time for the technical team to sit down and first they have to design the system. They have to think about, you know, how are they going to, uh, how's the page going to look? What kind of database are they going to use? What programming language are they going to use? How are they going to split it up? Once the design is finalized, it gets developed. All right, they actually have to program it.
once the program is ready to go and they feel like they have a, a work working or workable application it comes to us to test it okay it gets handed off to the QA team we take that product and test it so the product is tested by the QA team to ensure what to ensure that the requirements have been met again our job our main goal is requirements it's all about requirements making sure the requirements have been met requirements 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 the whole reason we are building an application is to solve the business requirements and to give the business a product that they need so first we have to define what we need then we design and build it then it comes to us the testers and we test it to make sure right here we test it to make sure that it's doing everything the business needs it to do that is our primary job 